The J-20, China's most powerful, domestically developed stealth fighter jet, has started to patrol the East China Sea and the South China Sea in routine training sessions. And experts said on Wednesday that the move will enable the advanced warplane to better safeguard China's airspace security and maritime interests. With the J-20 switching to the use of domestically developed engines, it has become a training routine that this type of aircraft conducts combat patrols in the East China Sea and alert patrols in the South China Sea. Ren Yukon, head of the Discipline Inspection and Supervision Team and a member of the leading party group at the state-owned Aviation Industry Corporation of China, said at a press conference on Tuesday. Ren's announcement came after General Kenneth Wilsbach, commander of the U.S. Pacific Air Forces, said in mid-March that USF-35 stealth fighter jets recently had close contact with China's J-20 stealth fighter jets over the East China Sea. The People's Liberation Army Air Force shoulders the sacred duty of defending national security in China's airspace. It must be emphasized that when it comes to defending national sovereignty and security, the People's Liberation Army will always be ready and capable of wielding its sword, said Senior Colonel Wu Kian, a spokesperson at China's Ministry of National Defense, at a regular press conference on March 31, when asked to comment on Wills Baki's remarks. It is certain that the J-20, as advanced new equipment, will appear on potential battlefields, including at sea, particularly when advanced warplanes of the U.S. like the F-35 and the F-22 have been flying your China, Song Jiangping, a Chinese military expert and TV commentator, told the Global Times on Wednesday. Our advanced fighter jets must meet them head-on to safeguard the country's airspace security and maritime interests, Song said. Wang Lai, a J-20 pilot at the Wang Hai Air Group, affiliated with the PLA Eastern Theater Command Air Force, said on China Central Television on March 5 that he had participated in routine maritime management and control missions with the J-20. It hasn't yet been publicly disclosed if the PLA Southern Theater Command has been equipped with the J-20. The Eastern and Southern Theater commands are focal points of the PLA, as they are vital to combat preparedness in the Taiwan Straits and the South China Sea, Song said. That is why the advanced J-20 should be commissioned there as soon as possible to generate combat capabilities, Song opined.